Hey YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and I'm going to re-review this beer today. Because I wasn't uh, in the right place on the original uh, review and I didn't really get to review it properly. So I'm going to redo that one right now. And that would be the Deschutes Fresh Squeezed IPA. And that's what the can looks like. This is about, um, about a month and a half old, so it should be pretty tasty still. It's um, 60 IBUs and 6.4% alcohol, ABV. It's got a package on 3.26.19, right there on the bottom, crystal clear. Today's 5.20.19. So, yeah, it's a little over a month and a half old. Should be okay, though. Um, so let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. All right. Yeah, I just um, I was had a few of these after the original um, review I did on it, and I realized I miss, missed some missed some notes there as far as uh, aroma and taste go because I was kind of in a hurry when I was doing it and I just wasn't happy the way it turned out so I um, got rid of the original review and uh, here I am going to re-review it right now and uh, we'll uh, get a better description of it this time pretty neat looking can alright get some of this uh, chill haze off of it here Got frozen glass. All right. I've had this beer before. Um, I do remember it's pretty tasty, but it's been a long time since I've had it, and um, I'm glad they're finally putting it in cans. I always like my beer better from the can to a glass. All right. So it's got a pretty good size uh, creamy frothy looking head there and it's a uh, pretty clear uh, copper color um, as you can see the light might have just a touch of haze in there and there's uh, no bubbles streaming up but there's particulates floating around in there as you can see there's some particulates it does have a very slight um, very slight haze to it but for the most part it's clear with just some particulates floating around so it looks pretty good the heads turning rocky and um, it's looking decent and uh, let's see here Try to see if we can see. There you can see the clarity of the beer. It is slightly hazy, but not not bad at all. Looks decent. There you go. You can see it. All right see the head is, is getting creamy looking kind of rocky all right let's get an aroma on this puppy getting a better aroma off the can Okay, right up front, I'm getting um, some citrusiness, um, orange, guava, uh, some pineapple, some pine, like a like a earthy, earthy grassy type hop kind of like green smelling hop
it's kind of like a almost like a darker fruit type note in there there's a bready sweetness coming through all the hops yeah, it's kind of like a bready sweetness the things has a really nice malt backbone to it look at the look at the lacing on that glass there it's just leaving like cream on the side of the glass it's got a real nice malt to it it's kind of sweet smelling um, it's not super dank hops it's more like a sweeter smelling beer yeah there's definitely a bready malt coming through and like some citrusiness um, mainly um, like orange pineapple um, little guava a little pine it's not super aromatic it just smells sweet and kind of citrusy fruity all right let's get a hit here cheers okay it's um, very well balanced it's not super uh, hoppy or and bitter it's not super sweet and super malty it's got a nice balance in between there the hops um, have like a um, kind of a, a darker fruit type note to them it's hard to describe maybe like a touch of black licorice maybe a pear note almost maybe a um, uh, it's hard to describe it's not like a real piney type beer it's not like a real earthy type I think it's a little more it's not really earthy like um, spicy or you know oniony garlicky it's more like a like a earthy um type fruit so it's, it's it's a very interesting beer doesn't taste like any other ipa i've ever had actually almost like a cherry note also yeah i definitely get like a cherry type note like the kind of cherry that has the seed in the middle like that yeah it's got like a sweetness to it it's, it's a very hard beer to um, describe alright let's get another hit here Might even have like a a date, kind of like a date note in there, like a maybe like a fig, kind of like a fig maybe, maybe a touch of honey. I mean, look at the cream on the glass; it's like cream. It's amazing. It's got a killer malt. Cheers. Ribbit. Kind of like, yeah, darker type fruits. Maybe cherries, a little date, a um, little pininess, a little orange, some pineapple, um, maybe even a little bit of mango not so much grapefruit not so much pine but some earthy notes in there some kind of herbal type notes grassy hops it's very good it's very different though than your usual IPA it does have a slight bit of pininess but it's more like a green kind of like that like like you took some sweet hops and just squeezed it in there 
It tastes like that. Maybe that's why they call it fresh squeezed. Maybe that's what they did. But this is very tasty. One more time. Yeah, it's like a sweeter type hoppiness. Um, killer malt backbone, very well balanced. I'll be giving this probably like 4.0 to 4.1 on, um, on rape beer. I'll have the description of it in the description section below. And uh, this is pretty good uh, IPA here. It's only like 12 bucks for a six pack of cans, so it's not too bad. Pretty good value. But I think what's the most impressive to this, on this one is its malt. This beer has an amazing malt uh, backbone, as you can see here. I wonder if they used some kind of oat or something for the malt on this, because it's really like uh, medium to almost heavy mouthfeel. Ribbit. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, everybody, that's what I got on the Deschutes Fresh Squeezed IPA. 4.1. There we go. Cheers. All right, later.